Hello, my name is Neri Rao and I'm the Faculty Services Librarian at the Cleveland Marshall College of Law Library. This presentation will teach you to use West's Ohio Digest and key numbers. First of all, what is West's Ohio Digest? A digest is an outline of the law with case summaries on each point of law. Each point of law has a key number and these key numbers correspond with headnotes at the top of a case. So you can use the key numbers to help you find additional cases addressing the same point of law. First of all, I want to show you the print version of the digest. This is the cover of the digest. It is part of a multi-volume set and you can find the entire set in the reference section of the library. There are multiple ways that you can search for cases or key numbers in the digest. One way is to use the words and phrases index that you see here. Um, as you can see, it's in alphabetical order. This is the L through Z volume. And if you open it up, you will find that you can look up both legal terms such as trust or trustee, and you can also find specific phrases. So if you're trying to find out how courts have interpreted a phrase such as true value of such property in money, you can find a key number that addresses that and you can find cases that address that point in this index. Another way that you can use the digest is by looking up terms in the descriptive word index. Um, if you open this up, you will see again that you can look up terms like trusts and trustees and then you can find various subsections of that relating to accounting or relating to actions and you'll see key numbers for the various subjects that you might be looking for. Another way that you can look things up in the digest is by using the table of cases. This is most useful when you already have a case that you know is on point and you're trying to find a key number that will lead you to other cases. So if you open this up, what you find is that there's just a list of cases by party name in alphabetical order. And if you had, for example, a case involving the city of Cleveland as a party, you can see on the right side of this page that there are cases involving the city of Cleveland. So if you find the case that you already have, it will list some key numbers there that you can then use to find additional cases. So once you have your key number, you need to find the volume that addresses that topic and key number. So if you know you're looking for key number one in trusts, you would just find the volume that has trusts in it in alphabetical order. And if you open it up to key number one, you find nature and essentials of trusts and a whole list of cases related to that topic and a short summary of the holding of that case. So you can also use the key number system on Westlaw Next in a way that is almost like the print version. Um, as you can see, there's a link to the key number system on the left side of the main page on Westlaw Next. Um, first of all, in order to approximate what's in the Ohio Digest, you would need to set your jurisdiction to Ohio and include related federal cases. So if you click on the link from the main page to get into the key number system, what you'll see is pretty similar to what's in the print edition. It's basically just an outline that gives you different topics. And if you wanted to click on one of these topics to go deeper into the outline, you could click on trusts and open it up and it will give you several subsections and key numbers below that. So if you open up Roman numeral one on this page, you get a list of specific key numbers, including the one we just looked at in the print version, number one, nature and essentials of trusts. And if you click on that, you will get a list of cases on that topic. So another way that you can look for things online is you can go back to the main key number page and you can do a keyword search 
for key numbers. So if you search for trusts, it will give you a list of key numbers addressing trusts. Another way that you can use this is similar to the index of cases in the print edition. You can search for a case, and we already know that in Ray Dayton Title Agency Inc. is a relevant case for key number one in trusts because we just saw that in our search results. So if you search for that case, it automatically shows up as the first case when you type in the name in the main search box on Westlaw Next. And if you go into that case, you'll see a bunch of head notes, including a couple that refer to trusts. And if you click on nature and essentials of trusts in head note number seven, you will get a list of cases that relate to that key number. And it's important to note here that Westlaw Next has just automatically changed our jurisdiction from Ohio to Sixth Circuit, which may not actually be what you want if you want something that's really specific to Ohio. So you can change the jurisdiction again to Ohio State and related federal, and you'll get the same list of cases that we just found by browsing. Another way that you can use the key number system online is if you already know the key number, you can just search for that key number. So here I put in number 390, which is the number for trusts, and then K1, which should get us the same list of key numbers as we got when we did a keyword search for trusts. Thank you very much for watching this presentation, and if you have any follow-up questions, please contact the Law Library.